Hey y'all, so I am here in Houston. This is my first 24 hours in Houston, Texas, y'all. It's so beautiful, it is so beautiful here and I wanna cry, it feels so unreal, you guys. Y'all should see what I'm looking at right now. Um, I've been wanting to pick up the camera and talk to you guys and like, you know, inform y'all, but I've been looking for a job, obviously. I have one, a collar shirt. <laughs> but I've been looking for a job. I wanna work more so in a restaurant life um, and probably like bartend there because that's what I was doing in New York anyways. Um, I'm trying to get the hang of things. So I got one job locked in and I'm trying to get a second job, honestly, because the pay rate out here is so little. I believe they pay $2.75. What am I going to do with that? No wonder the living is so cheap. But yeah, so I'm, that's what I've been doing this whole day, y'all. My sister was here yesterday. She left. The day before that, we had so much fun. We went ATV, dirt bike riding. I showed y'all that. And since I landed, I have not really got a full rest. Like, I haven't really laid down and really slept. Um, This is so hard for me, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I'm happy, but I'm also feeling like this weird, eerie feeling. Eerie is scary. Like, a real weird feeling. I kind of want to try this pop it up right here and see if they're hiring. The houses are so big. I don't know if these are apartments or houses. Let me show y'all. Sheesh. If this is a house, that is crazy. I think those are apartments. Like, oh, it's my new hometown, baby. Anyways, let me not get too excited. So this area is pretty nice. This restaurant seemed like they're really busy. So I want to go inside and just sit down and eat. Probably get like a salad to go and get the, the vibe to see if I can see myself working there. Other than that, I have one job locked in. I need another one. Anyways, let's go inside. restaurant you can't find this in New York at all at all wow so this is what I got you guys oh I'm in heaven oh No, uh, this can't be that good. Oh, I guess I wash my hands before I'm eating. Oh, I don't like soggy shrimp, so I'm just gonna eat the shrimp now. I'm sure I got tartar sauce. I'm gonna squeeze some lemons in there. Y'all, this is about to be my favorite spot, Papa Ducks. I kind of want to work here. There was so much movement in there, y'all. So beautiful. Oh my God, I have to apply for Papa Ducks. I need to go apply. Let me go apply, y'all. <laughs> Let me go apply, because that was my type of vibe. I need to be somewhere that's real busy. The job that I got hired at, it is a restaurant, but it seemed real slow. There was only about two families in there eating. It was very quiet. <sighs> I need bigger. Okay, I need bigger. So I'm going to rock out with that job. I probably do it in the mornings and then um, do dinners here. That would be nice. Hi, excuse me. Can I ask you a question? I'm so sorry. 
Are you hiring here? Okay. Are you hiring? Yeah, it should be. It officially been 24 hours since I... <sighs> Sometimes you just gotta check, okay? <gasps> okay, cause I don't know. Am I the only one that does this? Gonna go through the peak hole. I got a washer and dryer. Okay, just gotta check. So it's been 24 hours since I moved in. I'm tired. It's about 1 a.m., 1.30 in the morning. I am ready to settle down. Take off these lashes, I'm going to the bathroom. The place is a mess, okay? My stuff is literally everywhere, so I can't really show y'all. Like, look at the closet, y'all. Look at the closet. And I didn't come here to show y'all mess. I came here to show y'all a clean place, a new place. I can't believe this is mine. I can't believe this is mine. I'm grateful. And I need to pray and go to sleep. What's up, y'all? I just got in and I'm still excited about this apartment. But what's up? It's a new day and... I'm about to set y'all up because I just came from doing some groceries. I went to Aldi. Who don't like shopping at Aldi, I'll tell you. Um, you know, I just wanted to pick up the camera and honestly show y'all what I got. I'm going to set y'all up real quick. And yeah, y'all. Let's start with this big old bag. Uh, okay, I got oat milk. I got myself a pan that I'm gonna be washing because I'm about to cook some pasta. Should I bring y'all closer? I feel like y'all too far. This better not fall, the wine is right there. Let me bring y'all closer. So y'all should be able to hear me better and see me better. So, so far I got some oat milk. This is organic oat milk. I love oat milk. I would choose oat milk over soy milk or almond milk. I got me some wine because I'm going to be having pasta. This is the Chardonnay. This is Winking Owl. And y'all, this is only $4, okay? This wine has 12% alcohol in there. If I'm not mistaken, the wine was only $3.45. You cannot beat that. Run to Aldi and get this. I'm going to try it later after I finish cooking. And I'm gonna tell y'all exactly how it tastes. So this one is semi-dry, I believe. Yeah, it's semi-dry, it's not sweet, and it goes well with pasta. I did Google it and they said Chardonnay goes well with pasta. Then I got some baby spinach. This is the organic brand, because I love to put spinach in my eggs. Got me some paprika, some onion powder, some garlic salt, some black pepper. I got me probiotic yogurt i seen someone talk about this yogurt on their tiktok so i went ahead and bought it i got some cheese i know this is bad but i like to make my sandwiches sometimes and i like to put cheese in my eggs so i got me some butter this is the imperial butter i got me some turkey some oven roasted turkey i got me some organic broccoli this is some raw broccoli. And I got me some peanut butter. This is the creamy peanut butter. I got bread to go with it too. I got me bacon. This is turkey bacon. And I got me chicken. This is the um, chicken legs meat. It's just meat, no bone. I'm gonna be making me some pasta like I said. So I'm about to prepare that in just a little bit. And then I got me some wheat bread. I love wheat bread. I can put my peanut butter on this wheat bread and toast it. It just tastes so good. And I like to have my eggs on wheat bread. I got me some oranges, got some yellow onions. I love yellow onions to go on my food. For all of this, y'all, for only $62. I also got um, cereal because I like my oat milk with my cereal. Ah! I got me some cereal. This is the honey nut. Cheerios with real honey, you know, gluten-free. Got me some penne pasta. 
This is the pasta I'm going to be cooking. I got two of those. Oh, I got three of those. What is this? Oh, I got me some oatmeal. This is the variety pack. It has blueberries, strawberries. They got cinnamon apple, cinnamon spice, strawberry cream, maple brown sugar. Love this stuff, man. Also, y'all, everybody been raving about this probiotic water. So I wanted to try it out. So this is the probiotic water that I've been seeing everybody drinking. And I heard that it's good for the you know what, the woohoo down there. And this is the pineapple and mango. Um, I want to give it a try. So I went ahead and bought it. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to put all of this away. So I just finished the food and it looks so good. I'm so excited. And we finna taste her for the first time together. We had to bless the food. Okay, now let's taste. Mm. Alright. I did add a little bit of seasoning to my broccoli. I put garlic powder to my broccoli. Good. Tastes real organic. Um, I need to stop saying um, oh, this is bad. But here we go. It's so good, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This is good. Mmm. This is perfect. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. I thought I was going to be starving in this apartment because I've been eating out. This is my first home cooked meal. And I did the damn thing. Okay. Mm. This is perfect. It's not too salty. Ah! I'm a chef, y'all. The chicken is really well cooked. Mmm. I love that the chicken is like perfectly cooked. It's like when you bite into it, it just breaks up in your mouth. Like that's so perfect to me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is King. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, so what I wanted to say is like, I don't know if I made a video about me moving out of my parents' house yet, but y'all, it's a great feeling. I am having so many emotions, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm highly blessed and highly, highly, highly favored. Listen. God, he knows my heart. You talk to God, make sure you're being clear with what you want. And it can be very scary when you get your questions answered. God works in miraculous, beautiful, mysterious ways. There is no way, there is no way I could have done this without him. I'm just finishing up this food, y'all. I gotta clean up. I've been eating on my feet this whole time because I don't have bar stools. I want to put a table right here. Yo, my blow up bed is still over there. Literally. I got a mirror. My bed did come in. I want to put a table here, I think. My mom is coming in town. And she's going to, like, you know, look around and help me with an eye of what I should do. But, you know, this apartment is big and small at the same time. My dream apartment. Soon come. <laughs> Maybe a townhouse. I don't know. All right, y'all. I'm going bowling, and I'm going to show y'all my outfit. 
and just a little bit. <laughs> guys it's the next day sorry about the dishes in the back they was cooking spaghetti and meatballs last night i didn't get none but it's all good i'm at dana marie's house right now Hi. she over there she got me doing her lashes like all of a sudden i'm a lash tech and y'all see me doing everything i've done my lashes on youtube before you should go check that video out i did a whole video for this company called goalie they sent over some dope eyelash stuff uh they set over you know the individual lashes as well as the glue and the shampoo um yeah so i'm about to test out their products on a client for the first time and the client is my little sis i never done this before on anyone i only done it on myself so we're gonna see how this come out I look a mess y'all I look a mess and I've been looking a mess for the past few days I'm getting my hair done on Saturday today is Tuesday and last time I spoke to y'all I was saying that we were going bowling but we end up going to Dave and Buster's we had so much fun it was super fun yeah <laughs> yeah so I'm about to do her lashes right now and I'm gonna set y'all up somewhere so that y'all can see it. I got all these products right here in front of me. And I've been buying things little by little. Beauty Supply Store, $2.99. This is from the Beauty Supply Store, $3.99. These are easier to use. Like, they're already fanned out for you. So it's so much easier to just pull it with the tweezer. And I got this tweezer from the um, Beauty Supply Store also. This is the Envy. You just pull it and put it onto the eye. These ones are easy too because they're stacked. This is like strips, but they cut them up for you. So you don't have to cut them yourself. And I have the ones that you got to make the fans. Um, I got these lashes from Amazon. These are the lash that you got to make the, um, you got to make the fans yourself. Like pull it and squeeze it. I learned on TikTok, by the way. Like, I'm always on TikTok learning everything. So, once I saw the girlies showing how to do their lashes on TikTok, I started searching it every single day. And then I learned how to do it myself. So, so this is the before, y'all. Before, I'm going to show y'all the after. In five, four, three, two, one. And this is how they came out. I think I might be upside down. Yes. This is how it came out, guys. So cute. See? So pretty. Thank you. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. And that's on period. That's on who? Period. I need some lip gloss and I need some lip liner. But this is how it came out. These are my lashes. <laughs> I did them so quick. And I need to get my eyebrows th waxed or threaded. Um try to you know adapt in Houston so I've just been bushing around I had shaved them myself so we're about to go to the mall right now we're going to Galleria Mall um I just quickly did the lashes now I feel like a girl again because without lashes we just feel so we feel like a tomboy or something like now I feel like a pretty little girl and once I get dressed and get out of these work attire I will feel like myself again let's go to the Galleria Mall Hey guys, it's the next day and we came to the mall. We went to a different mall yesterday. That mall was kind of wet. Thank you. What's this? Oh, this is cute. But yeah, we at the Galleria Mall. This is my second time at this mall. This is a really nice mall. The mall we was in yesterday was really small. Uh, what was the mall name yesterday we went to? Um, Deerbrook. We went to Deerbrook Mall yesterday. It was a smaller mall. It wasn't like the gallery yeah, pretty much so I didn't really vlog in there um yeah um 
Hi. Hey. Pretty girls. Thank you. Pretty gang. My sister, you want to make her subscribe. <laughs> That's your camera? Yeah. <laughs> what is What is the one you gave her? This is uh, Jadu. Oh, this smells nice. so good, y'all. Mm -hmm. You want to put yourself a little bit? Yeah, please. This is extra for fun, and this is an exclusive to Neymar Marcos. Let it be. Mm -hmm. No, they don't, don't, don't. Oh, don't do that? No. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes, because that one, in that sense, you know, this, the, you don't want to spoil this uh, the fragrance. Mm -hmm. The friction makes the fragrance start just acting differently. Mm -hmm. If you really try, it's just beautiful. This, this is beautiful. Is really nice. uh, and this one you gave me, I didn't really like this one. And that one is Kaisa. This one is cute, but this? Yeah, that is very beautiful. It's nice. How much is that? 345 for 100 ml of straight perfume. Mm -hmm. only, only Harrods in London and us, we carry it. I love that. I gotta come back and get that. Wow, that smells so good. Oh, y'all gotta get that perfume. It smells so, so good. Thank you. Let me try. Where do the girls go? Do they go upstairs? Where do they go? I lost the girls, y'all. Oh, this is all right. But that? Wow, that smells so good. I have to come back for that. It's $315, I think he said. And that smells so good, y'all. Go check that perfume out. Ooh, that smells good. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, we at the mall. Everybody's vlogging. This is great. We all getting content in here. Um, what store y'all wanna go in? They got Celine, Balenciaga. Like, I don't know. <laughs> At least they didn't say you can't vlog in here. This store literally has everything. Bulgari. Wow. Ooh. The men in that store? They was looking on point with their suit and ties. Okay. Aw. This is so nice. So dope. I need me a bag. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. Um, I don't know if I might make this the last day of the vlog, but I'm about to make some breakfast and I decided to pick up the camera because I want to share with you guys how I make my sausage, egg, and cheese. And you can make bacon, egg, and cheese the same way. And I wanted to share you guys what happened to me yesterday in Texas. Like, I'm going to just prop y'all up real quick so that I can talk to you. So you guys, let me tell you what happened to me yesterday. I'm driving home, right? <laughs> and my tire rod breaks. My left tire, the driver's side, front left tire, pops off. I should have vlogged it, but I was so scared. Uh, let me see what happened. So, I left my little sis' house last night because I've been sleeping over there. Um, she had some um, content creators that came over, so they've been filming. We've been having so much fun over by her. We went to the mall yesterday. The mall is really, really far away, right? So the mall was about an hour away, and I drove everybody to the mall. Nothing happened to my car. My car didn't show no signs of the tire going to break or whatever. So as we, um, we came back and everything, stood in traffic. The traffic out here is crazy. Like, do not travel during rush hour in Texas. It's crazy. So I'm driving home. Um, I drove them home. I stayed for a few more hours. So now... At 10 p.m. in the nighttime, I'm like, I'm gonna go back to my apartment because it's kind of far away. And today I have an interview. I have a big, big interview. So I'm about to eat some food. I have to get close to y'all because. So I have an interview later on at 3 o'clock. It's 11. It's probably 12 now. It's 11.30. So um, I'm driving to my apartment now. For some reason, I took the long way. 
I normally take the long way because the miles be lower and driving in Texas everything is far away so your miles on your car is gonna go higher than you think like especially if you're a type of person that's trying to like I don't know why I'll be saving my miles on my car like I don't want to have like 200,000 miles on my car yet I'm in the 100,000 I just hit 100, 100, 101,000 something like that um so I'll be taking the shorter miles route on my maps all the time even though the time be longer I don't know it just makes sense to me so I took the 34 minute it, it took me 34 minutes to get to my apartment last night so I'm driving and I'm listening to Gibby on listening to slow music you know that's my type of vibe R&B and then I said you know what I need to worship God I need to worship what am I doing I'm wasting time listening to these other musics let me worship so I put on some worship music Molly music to be exact and um as I'm driving I'm like one minute away from the apartment remember I told you I was 34 minutes from my sis house to the apartment I'm one minute away I'm at the light I'm about to go merge to the lane so that I can make a left and in my apartment building is literally right there while my car just started going in shambles like like just I had to catch the wheel like it just started going in shambles and I'm like oh my gosh like I was so scared and I, I had to just stop I just pressed the brakes really really hard and it kept going like the car kept going luckily it didn't pass the light or anything because I would have been in a, in a crossway intersection and it would have been hard for cars to go by so luckily it was like almost 11 p.m. at this point and and not a lot of people is on the road around this time. It's very like, you know, just me and a few other cars. Now at this point, I turn the car off and I'm just like, what the entire, like, you know? So I get out the car. I'm in the middle of the way. Like the car, other cars that was on the street had to go around me. So I get out my car and I'm looking at the tire. The, the tire is bent this way. I'm like... I go look at all the other tires and all the tires are straight and I'm just like excuse me like <laughs> and I got my car inspected I got my car fixed up my mechanic clearly played me because how did he miss this y'all I guess it's a mistake but like I cannot believe it it could have been so much worse it could have happened when I was driving to the mall Galleria Mall yesterday and it didn't happen. God allowed, God let that happen right here by the apartment walking distance. Okay, so I get out the car and I'm looking at it like, what? My, there's a rod that's like broken off from the car being, from the car to the wheel. Like, there's this one rod that's just off and I'm just like, whoa. So, I'm walking back and forth. It's, it's nighttime, so I'm walking back and forth. I walk to this um, tire place. No one's there. Something told me to go to the gas station, but I'm like, I see a few people in the front, and I'm just like, I'm a girl. I had on a see-through top with my scarf, and um, I was looking like, you know, like I'm like I'm coming for the club, low key, but it was very professional at the same time. Um, so I'm just like, should I go to that tire? Should I go to the gas station and ask for help? I'm not the type of person who asks for help, so close mouths don't get fed, right? But I don't really like asking for help, so all these cars are going past me. They they slowing down, they're going around me. They're just looking at me like, oh, I'm sorry, but I can't help you. they all just driving past me. Then this one guy, God bless his heart, this one guy, I don't know if he made a U-turn, but he just pulls slowly up to me and he's like are you okay what's going on you need help you need some help and you don't normally want to trust strangers but this man vibe was just like like you can just trust your intuition when you meet certain people so I felt like he was he was just like a blessing in disguise like he came and he was like you need help I'm like yes please and I don't even know how to say yes but I'm just like yes please can you please help me I don't know what to do he's like okay he got out his car he had a, like one of those pickup trucks literally everyone in Texas have a pickup truck like the one with the long backs um so he's like okay um he gets out he's like oh your tie rod just broke everything's gonna be okay you can get this fixed it's not a big problem 
So um, he's like, he can't fix it because he's not a mechanic, I guess. And then um, he like, can I drive your car for you? I'm like, yes, do whatever because I can't drive the car. And um, he drives it slowly. He made me drive his pickup truck. That was the first time I ever drove a pickup truck, y'all. <laughs> I had to like climb the truck. You know the trucks, those really big high trucks everybody have to take? It's like it's one of those, I had to climb it. But he said that's nothing. He has a bigger one. I'm just like, why do you, why do people even like drive these big old trucks? They just so scary. So I had to drive one last night. And he was like, just go in front of me. There's a shop right there. And luckily, he don't live too far. So I'm running out of space. Like, I need to delete a lot of footage. But I drove his car. He follows me. And we popped it. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. I ran out of space on my camera. So I need to wrap it up. <laughs> so pretty much the man came and helped me, y'all. He was a young guy who was African-American. And he came and he helped me. And... He took me to the spot, like I said, to this tire place, like literally a block away. And um, he parked my car for me. I really don't even like people in my car because I just feel like people be judging me or like they think like it's a mess. I don't know. It don't be a mess, but I really don't be getting my car <laughs> vacuumed and stuff, so it would be looking crazy. So not as often, of course. I do get it washed, but not as often. Um, so I don't know, but he helped me. He put the car um parked and then he was like um do you need a ride i don't want to come off like you know doing too much and like i said i trust his into like my intuition just trusted him like for some reason his aura something about him just said that he was a good person so um i was like yes please just give me a ride and i could have took an uber that's nothing i could have walked like I said, it was like literally right there. And I was like, I'm literally right there. But I did have a lot of stuff. I could have left the stuff in the car and I could have walked after he helped me. But I just trusted it. So I said, sure, why not? Um, took the ride. And um, he even helped me bring my stuff up to the apartment. So that was really nice of him. Um, if you're watching this, because we did, I subscribed to his channel. He does have a YouTube channel. He's really, really dope. Like, his content is mad dope. So, I was watching one of his videos this morning, and his channel is Unhinged Perspective, by the way, guys. Really dope content. If you need somebody to, like, push you, you need somebody to, um, you need a video, like, some type of content, and you can't, like, just watch any type of motivational videos. He definitely helped me this morning. I called him. Someone was there early, and he was like, "Yeah, I see your car over here. Um, is everything okay? Did you leave the key inside so I can take a look at it?" So off rip, he already knew that something was wrong with the car by leaving it in front of a shop. You know, me, I was just worried. I was sleeping and freaking sweat, worried. You know, I went to the shop. The guy was like, "He can fix it, but it costs almost five hundred dollars to fix." I don't know if I'm a, I'm just a girl, and they like to beat us over our head or something, but. It is what it is. He said um, he can throw in a free oil change as well. He did that for the, it was 420 to be exact. And I'm just like, wow. So he fixed both the tie rods. Um, he did a, I think he did a wheel alignment too. And he, no, he didn't do it. I think he did a wheel alignment and he did my oil change. I needed an oil change anyway. So thank God for that. And yeah, that's my story, y'all. This man came and helped me. And everything happened for a reason. Like... <laughs> Whew, that was a lot and I just got back not too long ago and I wanted to show you guys how I make the food so let's get to the cooking
fire. So I toasted me two bread on the pot that I was using. I just put the bread right on there and I let it toast. It looked a little burnt, but that's fine. Y'all, this is so good. I'm watching Uni Rose. I believe that's her name. Uni Rose. I'm watching her right now. So I'm about to watch her vlog real quick and eat my food. Then get ready for this interview. I'll let y'all know how the interview goes after I'm done with it. Um, it is for a law firm office because I want to change my profession. Like, I want to be able to sit at a desk. I don't want to do too much hands work. Like, I'm a server slash bartender, so I really work really hard. Um, like, sometimes my body be hurting, and like, you, like I said, you got to always put on a show every table you get like and some people don't even care for that and they'll give you five dollars two dollar tips sometimes so you gave it your best so most of the time i get good tips don't get me wrong because my personality and everything but there'll be some days where people can't afford it and it is what it is but i think i'm ready to change my profession and do a at-home job so that i can take youtube more serious or go to an office job so hopefully fingers crossed you guys god is with me and i know i'm gonna get the job so we'll see <laughs>